Enigma Anxiety Workgroup is of course one of the latest, uh, let's say, new kids on the block in Enigma. And um, we took off about a year ago focusing on obviously common anxiety disorders such as panic disorder, social anxiety disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. We originally started out with social anxiety disorder because we already did some work uh, related to that topic. The Enigma Anxiety Working Group will help advance the field in the sense that uh, most studies until now uh, are uh, small, have limited sample sizes, um, and therefore the findings are often inconsistent. So some studies report increases in brain volume of several structures and other decreases, or um, they find um, no uh, differences between patients and controls. So it's our hope that uh, by pulling data sets together within the Enigma Anxiety Framework, uh, we will have more power um, to detect um, real effects and to uh, get uh, better estimates of effect sizes. We have already more than 50 sites that are participating, so that's great. And they are from all over the world, from the USA, Canada, um, several countries in Europe, a research center in South Africa, and we have several research groups uh, from Asia, like China, South Korea and Taiwan. That's a great start for a new working group, I think. And we are very grateful that all those, all those people want to contribute and want to participate in our working group. We kicked off with a kind of a pre-Enigma study in social anxiety disorder, where we um, combined data from a lot of sites. But even then, we found a small effect um, in an area not necessarily implicated so uh, deeply before an anxiety disorders, uh, the putamen, so the basal ganglia. Um, but this is, for instance, such a finding that definitely needs replication in larger studies. We will focus in the next year on the three um, main disorders, which are social anxiety disorder, panic disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. And for those three disorders, we will start with the subcortical and cortical uh, analysis, uh, analysis. And we hope to um, follow up with interesting secondary proposals after that. Uh, we have several questions that we would like to answer within Enigma Anxiety. Um, the first one is, what are alterations in uh, brain morphometry um, overall um, disorder? And what are um, disorder specific changes in the brain? So uh, we would like to uh, compare all the anxiety disorders. And we can also look at uh, differences between the disorders uh, to see what makes social anxiety disorder different, for example, from a uh, panic disorder. And we're also interested to see whether there are some characteristics, clinical characteristics, that are associated with, uh, for example, more pronounced changes in the brain. Um, and it's important to mention that we don't expect very big effects, very big differences. We expect that there are only small uh, brain differences that we can detect. But they can give us more insight in the neurobiological underpinnings of those um, disorders. And what we would also like to do is to see um, how the findings of um, Enigma anxiety relate to other psychiatric disorders. For example, um, the findings from the uh, uh, working group on depression or uh, substance use. So um, there are a lot of things we would like to investigate. Enigma is very, very interdisciplinary and um, uh, we are looking um, to do research on brain imaging but also on genetics and it can be quite costly to analyze data um, both in, in terms of finances but also researcher hours um, and it requires a certain level of expertise. Um, so it's very, um, one of the benefits of Enigma is that you um, bring together research groups from across the world and bring together these expertise and develop expertise in all of the member sites. Of course, we're talking about GED, PD and social anxiety disorders. So three common disorders and uh, almost impossible to tackle at once. So we decided to have a kind of specialization within Enigma Anxiety with groups focusing on GED, groups focusing on SED and groups focusing on panic disorder. For some specific 
th stimuli like spiders, for instance, or uh, um, drawing blood or needles. And there might only be a few sites in the world that are studying this particular type of anxiety. So we will have to pull all of those different types together and uh, still try to, to do something that's meaningful and compare them. So anyone that has um, any type of data on anxiety disorders and brain imaging and, and even better is if people have genetic data available, they are very, very welcome to join our project. So send us yeah. an email, um, find us on the Enigma website <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we... And join. <laughs> and join.